Hi everyone, beneath the lush forests, geysers, and dramatic landscapes of Yellowstone National Park lies one of the most powerful and awe-inspiring natural structures on Earth, Yellowstone's Magma Reservoir. Often dubbed a supervolcano, this vast underground chamber of molten rock fuels the park's renowned geothermal features and is the subject of intense scientific interest and public fascination. The nature of Yellowstone's eruptions can vary greatly depending on factors such as the viscosity of a magma, how thick or liquid it is, the amount and type of gases it contains, and the structure of the volcano itself. Higher viscosity magmas, such as those found in stratovolcanoes, tend to produce more explosive eruptions, while more fluid magmas, such as those found in shield volcanoes, tend to produce gentler, flowing lava eruptions. The stability of a hazardous volcanic system is strongly influenced by the depth of the uppermost magma reservoir and the exolution of volatiles 123. Although there is ample evidence for an upper crustal magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera, its depth and properties at the top are poorly constrained. New controlled source seismic imaging illuminates a sharp reflective layer of the magma reservoir about 3.8 kilometers beneath the northeastern Yellowstone caldera. Ascent of magma to such low pressures is expected to drive volatile exolution and possibly local bubble accumulation near the top of the reservoir, but these processes generally remain hidden in the Yellowstone volcanic system. P-wave and P-to-S wave reflections from the sharp top of the Yellowstone magma reservoir indicate that a mixture of supercritical fluid and magma fills the pore space in a low shear velocity layer about 3 to 8 km thick image by seismic tomography 67. The results are consistent with the retention of some bubbles ejected from the upper crustal reservoir by the continued supply of magma from the volatile enriched Yellowstone mantle source. Bubble accumulation may eventually lead to instability of the Yellowstone Reservoir, but the seismically estimated bubble volume fraction at the top of the National Park Service Reservoir is currently lower than the pre-eruption conditions generally expected for rhyolite and measurements of the hydrothermal system document a high flux of magmatic volatiles escaping to the surface. We conclude that the magma reservoir is in a stable state of efficient bubble ascent into the hydrothermal system based on the assumption that it is a crystal-rich reservoir, porosity less than 30%, whose dynamic modeling supports channel bubble escape that prevents instability. Volcanoes erupt when magma rises to the surface due to its lower density and pressure, aided by the formation of gas bubbles. The type and severity of an eruption depend on a variety of geologic factors, including the composition of the magma and Earth's tectonic activity. Magma forms when Earth's mantle, the layer beneath the crust, melts. This melting can be caused by a variety of factors, such as the movement of tectonic plates, the presence of hotspots, or the addition of air and other volatiles that lower the melting point of rocks. As research continues, scientists are working to answer pressing questions. How has the reservoir evolved over time? What triggered previous eruptions? And what can it tell us about the future of volcanism in the western United States? Yellowstone remains a natural wonder, 